How are you all doing tonight? My name is Big Bomb Boy, and welcome to A Hunter's Guide. Alright, this is a long title. A Hunter's Guide to pre raid Biss and Wild Classic Season of Mastery Phase 1. Blizzard making me redo these Biss lists with their changes and shit. Although the original pre Biss video kind of sucked, so don't go back and watch that one. So as is always the case, pre-raid BIS lists are different than other BIS lists. There is sort of an absolute BIS list for pre-raid, but it's nearly worthless. Pre-BIS is to get you ready for raids as soon as possible, and you'll be in raids getting P1 BIS before you'd complete a pre-raid BIS list. So what I'm going to do here is go slot by slot. For each slot, I'll talk about what is usually the absolute bis first, then work our way down to other very good, perfectly okay alternatives, even if not absolute bis. Just remember, hit cap in classic is 9%. Alright, let's look at some dope shit. Jewelry first this time because it's easy. Well, kind of. Rings. This is really easy. We want Tarnished Elven Ring times two. Very easy to get. A lot of people are going to want to run Tribute. And if you're an Engineer, which you probably should be, or even Blacksmith, you can still do the Dire Maul North Tribute solo runs. They are exactly the same as Classic. I've done a bunch of them in Season of Mastery already. Alternatives would be Painweaver Band from Drac and Blackstone Ring from princess but tutor is easier to get and better so just get those necklace okay this is one of the potentially really annoying ones i'm going to say just grab the classic mark of forging it's really good it's from a quest no trouble at all to get this but there is a slightly better neck pendant of celerity this is from one of the bosses summoned by the Dungeon 2 tier 0.5 set quest line, specifically Valthalak in UBRS. This is better than Forging, but it's not going to be terribly easy to get. While still pre rate Biss, it's more of a down the line item. Get Forging, work on this later is my advice. Trinkets, no change from Classic here. Black Hands, which starts from the quest you get after killing Wormthalac, and your Hunter class trinket from Dire Maul. Just pick up the Hunter book, and then you turn it in in the library in Dire Maul. Easy. You will also want to grab your Devil Saur Eye from the Hunter class quest in ST. You pick this up from your Hunter trainer at level 50, sends you to Azra to do some really dumb shit with stags, and then you go to ST. Fairly nice trinket. Cape. Cape is also going to be same as Classic. We want Black Baron from Baron and Strat Undead. Nothing even comes close. It's honestly pretty ridiculous how good it is. Even our P1 Biss is just slightly better. There are a few okay blues, but honestly, the second best option is going to be a high level green of agility. I have a level 52 one and it's 14 agility. So if you can get one at 56, 58, that's even better. Bracers. Prince and DM West drops Bracers of the Eclipse and they are really good. I would also recommend having Slash Claw Bracers on hand. You can get those from Halcyon and LBRS. It's one of the few pieces that are good swaps when you need to put in 1% hit. Beastmaster is an alternative if you don't need a hit. And of course, Beaststalker and Shadowcraft are really easy to get, and you can get those while leveling. Belt. Okay, Belt is going to annoy a lot of people. This is one of those items that wasn't in at launch in Classic, but it does drop from a launch dungeon and launch boss in Season of Mastery. 
it's not from the T0.5 bosses. It was added to Uruk in LBRS. The belt being Marksman's girdle. And holy shit, is it nice. Straight, edgy, and 1% hit. Uruk is an annoying boss, and a lot of people like to skip him. Don't let them skip him. This belt is dope shit. And you know how rare it is for items to classify. There aren't a lot of alternatives. It having hit is somewhat important actually. Warpwood binding from Dharma West is probably your second best option as it's fairly easy to get and it is pretty good. Beastmaster belt is unfortunately not good. Also, just because I want to rub it in a bit, I got my Marksman's Girdle first LBRS in Season of Mastery. Hunter Jesus provides. Helm, super easy slot. Backwood Helm from Diremal West. It's a quest item though, so you'll do this the first time you do Diremal West. But Beastmaster's cap is also really, really good. The stats are very similar, but swap one hit for one crit. Backwood is obviously way easier to get, but they are both really good as long as Beastmaster's hit isn't being wasted. It's actually better than Backwood at that point. Shoulders. No change from Classic. You'll mostly want True Strike from Pyromancer and UBRS. Two hit, 24 AP. It's very good, although it's very boring. There's also a broke dick version of them called Wormhide Spalders. These are a quest item coming from a taste of flame. If for some reason you don't need to hit, unfortunately Beast Stalker and Beastmaster kind of suck. You could go Worm Tongue from Balnazar or Bone Golem from Rattlegore, but you're very, very likely going to need that hit. Chest. Okay, chest is different and it surprised me a bit. So people are instantly going to assume SGC. It was best in classic and it's really good, I get it. But it might not be as good as I thought. So let's compare it to Ogre Forged Halbrick. SGC is better. It's not fucking miles better, but it is better. Beast Stalker chest is not good and in fact it's quite shit but beastmaster chest is actually really really good it even comes with a nice pet bonus and it sims higher than sgc sgc is such an absolute pain in the balls to get i'd go for beastmaster i'm not saying it's easy to get either or even easier to get but it's really good and we may want to do the quest line anyway for some other pieces. But what makes a Beastmaster so good is the edgy gain versus SGC. Meaning if you're a Horde, you lose out a bit on agility because no Kangs. So for Horde, in a direct comparison, SGC is still slightly better, but I do mean slightly. So my personal plan here is use Ogre Forged Halberg for now and work on Beastmaster. Then if I get SGC while I'm doing BRD, obviously I'll use that and forget about Beastmaster, but I'm probably gonna end up with Beastmaster. Gloves. It's, it's Devil Sore. Yeah, I know they're about as boring as retail, but Devil Sore are really good and usually aren't hard to get. I'm going to talk a bit more about Devil Sword later in detail, but we do have other good gloves we can get. One very specific one you should get is Voon's Vice Grips. So these are from an LBRS quest, and shit, they are good. They are the true strike of gloves, except they're guaranteed because it's a quest item really good, really easy to get, and actually open up some other options for us with gearing. There aren't a lot of other options outside of these. Beastmaster probably being the best, but it's not great either. 
pants. Again, devil's whore. Or again, the same reasons. But we do have potentially two other good pieces here. Blade Master, dropping from the beast in UBRS. And Beast Master, fucking masters everywhere here. But I think Devil Sower will be the play for most people. Boots. It hasn't really changed since Classic. Beastmaster being the best, but only slightly. Beast Stalker, Mongoose, Shadowcraft, all good, all about the same. But don't sleep on Wind Reaver Greaves from Kirtonos and Skulo. These are very, very good. Probably the best piece we have for swapping in 1% hit. Melee Weps. Okay, so one handers. You probably won't use one handers. It all depends on if the one handed agility enchant is in the game. I could not find a definitive answer on this. Wowhead says P3, but it's been wrong before. Like with Marksman's Girdle, Wowhead says phase 5, but I have it on right now. It's about time to have another Wowhead rant here. I'm really getting annoyed. I don't have the rep to check the vendor. This non-believer right here sells it. And I couldn't find anyone that had the rep either. So I'm not going to farm that rep because no. I don't think it's in, but if it is, then it's totally fine to use two one-handers for stat sticks because that's an extra 30 agility. Meaning if you aren't weaving, then you have two good options. The Dao Rend set or bone slicing hatchets. Previously, Dao Rend was shit, but without all of our world buffs, they actually start to even out to the point that, well, Dao Rend's pulls ahead and kind of wins, especially if you're Horde. But probably you'll be going with a two-hander, and we have a really good option this time around. Huntsman's Harpoon. A big, wet, deep, 35 agility. That is really nice, and it's pretty good for Weaves. Way better than Barb or Peacemaker. The downside, oh... There's a downside. You better fucking believe there's a downside. It drops from Mizalian in DM East. Who in Hunter Jesus' name is Izalian? It's another boss from the T0.5 questline. Like the necklace. So that's two pieces we really want that drop from the T0.5 bosses. Now, you see why I was kind of interested in that chest. If you're not going to weave, this is still an upgrade over Barb, it's just not a massive one. Which is my recommendation on what to use until you get the Huntsman's Poon. Barb or Peacemaker. If you're playing Horde and not weaving, Barb is nearly equal to Poon as a stat stick, but you should do some weaving if you're Horde. Ranged. Isn't that difficult, really? Get Bloodseeker. It's really good, and you just have to get the quest from Alterac, then win one AV. Shouldn't be that bad. If you just keep getting into games with absolute shitters and can't win, not a big deal. There's Carapace, Spine Crossbow, and Black Crow. Carapace from Nerubin Strat, same guy that drops our boots. Black Crow from Gash Vagine in LBRS. They're all pretty close but bloodseeker is the best it sims higher than black crow even if you're using the one percent hit from black crow so eight percent hit with bloodseeker is better than black crow giving you nine percent hit carapace falls in the middle so if you're getting the one percent hit from black crow that's better if you don't need the hit from black crow then carapace is better pvp gear so I'm not going to talk about the PvP gear here. It's not really pre-bis to me. I will talk about it some in the P1-bis video. But for now, I'm just going to say it's good. It's really good, actually. So if you're interested in PvPing, that gear definitely would not be wasted. Nice. Devil Soar. Okay, Devil Soar is good. 
I'm not saying it isn't. But there are a few times you might not want it. Wait, what the fuck would that be? Uh, I guess one would be if the prices on your server are just fucked. Can't farm it, can't buy it. And then you would think, okay, what can you get that doesn't gimp you too bad? And the other situation being if you're a serve. Because Devil Sword has no agility. Well, you do actually have options. You can wear Voon's Vice Grips and Beastmaster Pants. This is only a small DPS loss as Marksman. It is a loss, but it's small. Blademaster Leggings are also good and actually they're probably going to be the best for most people. Because if you don't have Pendant of Celerity and you aren't wearing Devil's Hour, you're really going to need the hit. So Voon's Gloves for 2% hit and Blademaster or 1% hit. That's more hit than the Devil's Sword set would be giving you. And our dungeon sets. Okay, let's talk briefly about Beast Stalker and Beast Master. Beast Stalker sucks. Yeah, it was mostly garbage meant to be thrown in the bin, and it's still shit. But Beast Master has some good pieces and some nice set bonuses. They actually swapped those around compared to Beast Stalker. So, 4 piece is a 4% chance on ranged hit to restore 200 mana. 6 piece is 40 AP. I don't think we can wear 6 pieces of this. Yeah, just. I could not make that work. The set doesn't have enough hit. But 4 pieces, well, we already know there are 3 really good pieces helm, chest, and boots. But the pants aren't bad either, they just kind of lack hit or crit. I was able to put together a set with four piece bonus that sims just barely behind absolute bis. I think this set bonus is worth a couple DPS. I don't have it. I can't test it. And I don't think the sim factors in this set bonus because it definitely doesn't do the six piece bonus. Blade Master legs and Beastmaster Bracers is also another option for an extra point of hit if you don't have that Pendant of Celerity. It's only a small loss compared to using Beastmaster Legs, but it is a bit more of a loss that way. This set is slightly worse as Horde since no Kangs. Remember, Devilsaur has AP and this has agility, but the difference there is so small and Horde is probably going to gain even more from the mana return that I would say it's not an issue. I am going to go for this set, so this is what I'm looking at. But I really do need to get the 4-piece and play around with it and see how much mana I'm getting back in a fight before I can really say for certain that it's worth it. Okay, so what is Absolute Biss? If we don't count that four piece set bonus and we go with Devil Sword, I'd say it's this. This is slightly different than other Biss lists you might have seen. Some of them have this weird fascination with Black Crow. It's not that great. Bloodseeker is better. Other than that, the only thing you might be wondering about is the Bracers. It's just for the hit. You can also use Wind Reaver Boots again if you're having trouble getting Celerity. Assuming that set bonus actually does do some work, then as I mentioned, this would probably be absolute bis. Tiny bit of a DPS loss, but potentially a big mana gain. I'm not sure how much it's going to actually be. Okay, enchants. So they're the same as classic. I'm just going to list them off briefly. We want eight agility on helm and pants, shoulders, doesn't really matter. You can get some resistances. I don't care. Three agility on cape. Stats to chest. Bracers, you can go one agility or nine stam. I usually go nine stam. I think there's enough raid wide damage. It's worth it. Gloves are going to be seven agility and boots are going to be seven agility as well. Weapon is not a big deal until int comes out or the agility enchants. You can do weapon damage if you're weaving, but not a big deal. 
Quiver is also going to be the same as Classic. You use Ribley's from BRD until you get the one from AV or just go straight for the AV one. It's not a big deal. Pretty easy to get. And that's pre motherfucking Biss in Season of Mastery. How was it? <laughs> At one point, I realized every calculation I did in the sim, I left world buffs on and had to redo all of them. That was some shit. But I know personally, I'm surprised at how good Beastmaster ended up looking because most people just immediately assumed wearing that is like getting your salad tossed. But no, it, it's good. I like it. Nice. P1 Bis is up next, followed by TBC P3 Bis. If you enjoyed the video, hit that sub button, bell, like button, what the fuck, Beastmaster really button, share button, all that other shit. I really do appreciate each and every one I get. This channel even has memberships now. You can check them out by clicking the join button right by the sub button. It is absolutely the best way to support the channel and you'll get some really cool emotes. Plus it's way better and cheaper than a Twitch sub. I stream right here on YouTube at times. I hope you'll join me. But that is going to be all for this one. I really appreciate you all watching and I will see you all for the next one.